Hello, my name is Professor Bob Hill. The topic of discussion this week is long-term climate change and the contribution of the plant fossil record. I think everybody's aware that carbon dioxide is an important greenhouse gas, but a lot of people don't understand how important it is to plants in more ways than just its contribution to climate change. Carbon dioxide is the fuel for photosynthesis. Plants utilise the sun to change carbon dioxide into simple sugars and they give off oxygen as a byproduct from that. So if you increase carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, not only are you increasing the greenhouse effect and changing the climate, but you're also changing the way that plants grow. I look at the plant fossil record over a long period of time and try and work out just how these two interacting features have come together to change the vegetation on this planet. And the fossil record is a great, con a great resource for this particular work. In particular, I've been looking at Antarctica which as a long-term climate change example is fantastic because it's gone from having complex rainforest as much as 40 million years ago through to the present barren wasteland. Uh, it's effectively an ice desert and the plants have disappeared completely. And in the history of life on Earth, there have been very few examples of, cl of uh, climate change impacting on vegetation to the extent of that one. So we'll be having a look at that and we'll in particular be considering the impact that plants have in that they're sedentary and they can't move away from climate. When animals have, are faced with climate change, quite often what they'll do is try to escape from that climate. Plants just simply have to sit there and sweat it out. So we'll be uh, talking that through, looking at some examples. And so thank you, and we'll see you there.